All right, we're gonna hit another little cottonwood climbing day and then hit the gym, but then it snowed, so we're going skiing now instead. Ooh, with a little bit of fresh powder, just, just a little bit. And then gonna go to South Main and do a bunch of boulders and rope climbing with Victor and the rest of the crew later on. You psyched? Woo! So far stiked. 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 <laughs> We're stiking out here. Oh my God. Quinn has brought goggles without goggles. That's, that looks kind of weird. To the gym. I'm so warm. Oh my god. We'll just do some finger flicks in the car. Uh huh. And we will be so ready to go. I genuinely think doing like another sport or like another like just athletic thing before you like climb is it helps you get I it like agree. primes your primes your mind the brain. Yeah. Exactly to get yeah. into those like flow states and like just mm -hmm. be creative. We got sriracha tofu, avocado, blue cheese. And a super nice Conti from France. Pro tip, go to Sprouts. It's like Whole Foods, but cheaper. Mm -hmm. And like Trader Joe's, but more, more variety. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I gotta yeah. start giving some more useful and applicable pro tips. <laughs> pro tip, instead of doing your stability workouts, go skiing. Oh, to the gym. Yo. Strong. How's it going? Boom. Literally straight into the action. He's got to send the hardest climb here. Got to unknown on this red thing. He said it. It's savage. Super cool block. The box in here is so nuts. You like literally have to be a contortionist to get through. Come on, Ross. Get in there. Hi, Ross. Oh. Oh. Ross, how do you feel? I feel inside out. <laughs> Oh Get the Pilates on! Pilates! <laughs> what else are you doing today, Victor? I, I hang board this morning and um, I came here to do yeah. roots. So I gave myself only a 40 minute like 
yeah. timer on this folder here. I'm in the same boat. Because I don't want to get cast. I'm cast already. <laughs> He's cast already. 40 minutes on boulders and then sport climbing time. I got 30 more minutes on the timer. <laughs> 20 minute break now. 20 minute break. Going on made up this really cool little move. You have these two pink things here. Huge dyno to here. And then carry your momentum all the way from here to that green thing. Dad! It's just so fun. I love it. Hey, if you guys aren't good on pinches, just do some pinch blocking and you'll be better at pinches. I gotta do some more tricep stretches to get my shoulder and everything more flexible. Oh my god. Pretty mobile. What are you falling on? Red? The red thing. Not anymore. I was falling. I've just decided I'm, I'm no longer gonna be falling on that move. That's oh, sure. Falling anymore, and then you get you get one move farther, and then you fall. Your eighth bit. I think it's like plus six and a half. I'm lucky. That's so many. Thank you, mom and dad. What's your <laughs> shout out? Shout out to mom and dad, Melanie and Julian. Hooked me up with some nice ape. Your ape index is just like however tall you are, and then you measure how your wingspan for like from fingertip to fingertip, exactly. and yeah, and some tracks. He's got some bulbous. Joints. Bulb Bulbazor. Comment, comment below if that looks healthy or not. So this guy's named Jerry. This Jerry one's Jeffrey. They don't like each other as you can tell. Look at the size. This one's just um doesn't have a name. But it's growing. <laughs> These are my fingers. Yours are pretty straight. Yeah, and then for comparison. Wowza. The bigger the knuckles, the harder you can cramp. <laughs> And the louder the pop when the knuckles <laughs> break. Now it's time what's to rope climb. How many routes are we doing, Ross? We're gonna do. We're gonna try to four, do Try to do least. four. How? Four. What's the rest in between? I don't know. Feeling? Yeah, feeling. So maybe like seven, eight minutes. I like that. I like Something that. Something like that. Yeah. He made it. Me, it oh. We'll edit it together to make it look like you got here at the same time.
you, dude. Thank you for the boulders. Of course. Anytime. Seriously, this guy's only been setting for like a couple months, and he's getting crazy good. <laughs> like nice. people don't, people don't just become like good setters in a couple months, but dude, he has. All right, our next view is this yellow one. Uh, me and Ross just read it, and it actually looks spicy. We got three minute reading, and now we're ready to give it a rip. Uh, yeah, looks like some classic USA style, but. Some flipping positions look a little interesting and uh, we'll, we'll fight yeah. probably. Today's just the day of like trying to climb well and getting a good baseline of where our our execution is on on harder routes. Also it's a day of like maybe overthinking a little bit about what we have to do to like get that execution, which is okay because that's how you like train. We're, we're practicing our mental on like actual road climbs and then the day of the comp you just leave all of that aside and you just climb the climb. My goal for like these climbs is just to be very aware and like, conscious of how I feel and kind of what I'm thinking so I can know what to, to work on and what feels good and what feels bad. Like it's equally important to like know and remember what feels really good about your climbing because ultimately like that's what you want to focus on and you're not going to be able to replicate your successes if you don't know why you were succeeding. Climbing easy routes is just so mentally tasking because you're just up there thinking about like, is my foot in the right place? Like, how do I hold this hold? Instead of like hard routes, you just get in the flow and you punch. Yeah, hard climbs you like have no time or like yeah. spare energy to think about other things than just climbing. That's why I think if you could like incorporate, like do like one of these hard like boulders, maybe like a black dot, and then you punch it, you do it, you're like trying hard, you and go then, directly onto the route, so you're already into that like fight flow mode. Yeah. That could be like interesting to do another day. It's good. Futuristic lead training <laughs> with Victor. This man is a World Cup finalist. That's serious. Man has too much time to think on 13C. We'll get him on some harder stuff soon. We've just been bowling upstairs for like two hours and uh, Kim's been down here trying this one for two hours. Yeah. Just this one blue one and yeah, we got here at the same time, so it all <laughs> makes sense. How's it feel to be back on a rope? Very good, I'm pumped. It's always a little skeptical to like get back into training after an injury. Yeah. Um, but I don't feel like this is not like training. I think usually when I tie in, it's usually just for like a little bit of flow, just get uh, draws clipped, uh, yeah. understand how to like get your pacing. I was going purposely pretty slow because like warm up. That was that was my warm up. Nice. <laughs> Which is cool. You could we could definitely warm up on like 13. Yeah. <laughs> Which is absurd. <laughs> I got pulled on like four times. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. On slab. Or. Like, Missing a bunch of Tim videos because my hard drive crashed ahead all of his like solo sessions and a bunch of his climbing from the last little bit. So that's why the channel has been a bit uneven recently, but we're yeah, it's totally okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna train together. It's about yeah. what, what goes on next. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And there's a reason he can warm up on 13s because <laughs> he's been training a lot. Maybe oh. Tim shouldn't warm up on 13 Bs. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, dude? What's up, bro, bro? What's up, bro, 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 bro? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, try it, try it. The left hand just came off. Literally no chance he does this. Ever. Ross sees hard moves, doesn't matter what he's wearing, he wants to try. Yep. On the higher foot? Yeah. Go on. Oh! <laughs> Always end your sessions with some shenanigans. I owe him dinner. That's a hard flash. Oh, what? That's a hard flash, Dinner for the flash. If your sessions are getting a bit like lackluster or whatever, just put something on the line. Come on, Ross. Nice. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. This is savage. Yes, dude. Come on, Ross. Please, dude. Get there. <laughs> oh. Pretty savage. That hole is bad. Come 
Come on, Ross. I keep missing the thumb. It's because you're too Burke nasty. All right, the Birkenstocks weren't quite cutting it, so giving it one, one final desperado attempt with an actual boot. I'm gonna burn my shoes if I don't do it this attempt. Let's go, beast. It just takes putting on an actual shoe. See you, dude. See you, dude. Super fun day skiing. Hell yeah. See you, Bobby. You. See you, Sean. If you didn't check out the so high stuff in the last video, I don't know what else I have to tell you, but it's in the description still. Go give it a look. It's sick. Time to go home. Peace.